Hi, I'm Roslyn Green. I'm a violist, and I just completed this season as a civic fellow with the Civic Orchestra of Chicago. This instrument in particular needs a lot of strategy. The weight and size of the viola are an ergonomic nightmare. Violists are overwhelmingly prone to repetitive stress injuries. This means that efficient practicing is not a luxury, it's survival. So what do we do when we get an impossible stack of orchestra parts? It's tempting to just take it home, throw it all on the stand, and hope for the best. But let's see if we can do better. First, make sure your time is aligned with your needs. I keep a dry erase calendar on my wall so I can clearly see deadlines and allocate my time correctly. My warm-up is brief. I usually pick something easy, maybe something I'm working on, play it under tempo for a few minutes, just so that I'm not waking up my hands with the hardest thing I can play. But getting back to that stack of orchestra music, before the viola comes out of the case, sit down with that stack of parts and grab a metronome and a pencil. Listen to recordings of everything, pausing to mark down tempos wherever there's a change. Also, mark an X next to any particularly exposed or important moments. Next, put on the metronome and sight read through everything at tempo. This way, you won't get caught off guard by any of the simple stuff in rehearsal. Anything that you can't immediately play gets an X in the margin. Now, with those X passages, we have our work cut out for us. Time to start conquering these spots. Don't get stuck on one tough passage. Rehearsal won't go well if you spend a week learning just the hardest spot and don't learn the nine easier things. So if a spot is very challenging, make some progress on it, but don't be afraid to switch to fixing another passage before coming back to it. If some of these sections are long, make sure to break them up into smaller sections. Don't try to solve lots of problems at once. It's better to fix just one bar at a time before putting it all together. Pay attention to those exposed passages you marked from the recording, even if you sight read them well. You want to go to rehearsal not just able to play it, but ready to play it with confidence. As you work through these spots, leave the X's marked at first. It's good to come back a day or two later to check that your hard work stuck. I usually feel like I'm learning a tricky spot from scratch two or three times before I can actually play it on my first try. Once you've worked through your X's, go back to the recordings. Now that you've got some muscle memory, you can reinforce your work with your ears. And you should be in good shape for rehearsal. To add to your routine, even with our efficient practicing, we still spend a lot of time holding up this heavy instrument. So take care of your body. Have a habit of exercise that balances out some of the stresses of playing. That doesn't just mean being fit, although cardio is great and it helps with general stress. Do specific exercises that improve posture by stretching and opening your chest and neck and strengthening your back. Some of my favorite exercises, you can find these on YouTube, are wall angels, reverse planks, scalene stretches for neck muscles, and doorway stretches for chest. Whatever exercises you do, look up a few instructional videos to make sure you're using good form. Also, try using a rubber lacrosse ball. Lengthen and relax the muscle and lean into the ball against a wall. And you can release some of the knots in your back, shoulders, and chest. You can do this daily and it will help your muscles work their best. Finally, even though I've been emphasizing survival, all of this is towards the goal of creating beautiful music. The payoff of preparing my part is hearing everything come together in rehearsal and sharing something meaningful with an audience. I admit, sometimes that can feel like a bit of a delayed reward. My creative instant gratification comes from playing guitar and writing pop songs. I like to have a musical outlet with a completely different set of priorities. I rarely perform, I'm self-taught, I can just find a melody, set some chords, and explore an idea. It's a good reminder that even though I spend so much time trying to get my viola to work right, music is not about difficulty. While practicing might often be about survival, 
Music is about creating. Thank you for watching. Check out the other videos on this site for more practice tips from my Civic Orchestra colleagues. Happy practicing.